We're deeply fascinated by ancient Rome, continually uncovering new aspects of this illustrious civilization. Despite numerous explorations into their world, we keep finding intriguing lesser-known facts. Here, we present eight more astonishing discoveries about ancient Rome, offering fresh insights into their complex society and enduring legacy that still captivates us today. The Ancient Romans wore phalluses as good luck charms. Ancient Romans were notably superstitious, embracing the phallus as a prominent symbol of good luck and protection against evil spirits. This emblem permeated their daily lives, manifesting in jewelry, household decorations, and even wind chimes, often adorned with elaborate features like lion's feet and bird's wings. Such practices highlight a stark contrast to modern sensibilities, where displaying such symbols might lead to legal and social repercussions. They drank gladiator blood. In the realm of medicine, ancient Romans were paradoxically advanced, yet had practices that seem outlandish today, such as consuming gladiator blood to cure epilepsy. This belief was so prevalent that vendors sold the still warm blood of fallen gladiators directly to spectators seeking its supposed medicinal properties. When gladiatorial combat ceased around AD 400, Romans simply shifted to using the blood of executed criminals for the same purpose. They invented the shopping mall. Trajan's Market, an ancient Roman edifice, is considered one of the earliest examples of a shopping mall, showcasing the innovative architectural prowess of the Romans. Still standing after more than 2,000 years, its resilience surpasses that of modern structures, thanks to the Roman innovation of mixing lime with concrete to prevent corrosion. This two-level structure, centrally located in ancient Rome, accommodated around 150 shops, demonstrating the scale and sophistication of Roman commerce. They actually paid a urine tax. Ancient Rome's abundant records offer a glimpse into their unique practices, including some that seem bizarre by modern standards. Emperor Vespasian's urine tax in the first century AD highlights how Romans valued urine, not just as a laundry bleach due to its ammonia content, but also as a medicinal remedy. This tax on urine, collected from public bathhouses, parallels modern excise taxes on commodities like liquor and tobacco. They used bandages. Rome, rivaling Greece, was a pioneer in ancient medicine, blending significant errors with remarkable medical intuitions. Their medics ingeniously used a concoction of cobwebs, honey and vinegar for wound dressing, a practice only recently considered for its potential due to spider silk strength and antibacterial properties. This ancient wisdom underscores the Romans' advanced understanding of healing showcasing their innovative approach to medical care. Crucifixion wasn't used on Roman citizens. Crucifixion, widely recognized due to a singular historical narrative, was a prevalent form of punishment in ancient Rome, reserved mainly for acts of treason and non-citizens. Roman citizens facing criminal charges could expect milder consequences like exile or fines, regardless of the crime's severity. In stark contrast, non-citizens could be crucified for offences as minor as petty robbery, highlighting the harsh disparities in Roman judicial practices. Romans recorded some of the first UFOs. The notion of UFOs, often perceived as contemporary, finds one of its earliest documented instances in Rome in 218 BC, where a fleet of shimmering ships was reported to hover in the sky. Another account from AD 150 describes a large, multicolored object emitting fiery rays near Rome, challenging modern perceptions of ancient skies. These intriguing episodes underscore the timelessness and mystery surrounding UFO sightings, though their authenticity remains debated. Emperor Caligula was a crossdresser. Emperor Gaius, famously known as Caligula, is often remembered as one of Rome's most eccentric and possibly deranged rulers. With unprecedented power, he proclaimed himself a deity and infamously appointed his horse as a priest, showcasing his unconventional reign. Caligula's peculiar behaviors extended to public appearances in women's clothing and instructing his guards to use distinctly feminine call signs like, Kiss Me Quick, further cementing his controversial legacy. 
In summary, these eight facts are just a few of what is to be yet learned about this fascinating ancient Roman society. We've learned that from utilizing urine in daily life to pioneering medical practices with spider silk, there was no limit to the Romans' blend of practicality and peculiarity. We marvel at their judicial system and architectural feats because they reveal the complexity of Roman civilization. Much of what we see in our world today originated from their world. Thanks for watching.